Let's do a demo. Let's try and buy shares. So you go to this bank's website, go to buy or sell shares option. Now there are multiple companies with share prices. Let's click on this company, Yummy Bites. Now it says MV of 1200 and FV of 100. What does that mean? Well, FV is face value. Now face value is nothing but the value of shares from a legal standpoint. So when a company invites public to invest in shares, it doesn't know its exact value. So it gives a base value to the shares, which is called face value. It does not impact the value of shares at all. What matters is MV, which is market value. Shares which have huge demand have higher values and shares which have less demand have lower values. That's obvious, right? Think of a situation that you really want to have finger fries and there is just one potato seller in the vicinity. Since you want it so badly, you could pay any price for it. So market value just like that is decided by the demand of shares. If a company performs well, shares are in demand and have higher prices. And if company performs miserably, there is low demand and no one buys these shares. Let's go ahead and buy one share. So we buy one share of Yummy Bites. It is for 1200. But why does it say I need to pay 1207.08? What are these additional 7.08 rupees? These 7.08 rupees are charged by the bank for letting you access the stock exchange. Everybody is in for money, right? So why would bank not charge anything? Well, this amount is called brokerage and the bank is called a broker. Broker is a middleman who facilitates trades. He connected us and the stock exchange and charged this money. But why this odd number of 7.08? Well, this includes 0.5% of the market value as brokerage, which comes out to be 1200 into 0.5%, which is 6 rupees. Plus, how can you forget GST? It has a GST element of 18%, which comes out to be 1 rupee and 8 pesa. Now, if you total it up, it totals up to 7.08, which explains this odd figure. But why GST? Brokerage is a service and all services have an element of GST. So the total comes out to be 1207.08. Now we've purchased a share of Yummy Byte for 1200, which had a face value of 100. So we have paid a premium of 1100 rupees. If the market value was 100, we would have purchased it at par. If market value was less than the fair value, that's like the worst possible performance we would have purchased at a discount. Now we've invested this sum. But what is in for us by investing this money? Well, there are two ways we can gain. One of them is when the share value goes up. Let's say Yummy Whites performs brilliantly and the share value goes up to 1300. We will gain 100 rupees. That's one of them. What is the other benefit? So Yummy Bites earns profits, right? So don't you think since you're holding its shares, you should get a part of this profit? Definitely. So Yummy Bites earned a profit of 1 lakh and there are total 10,000 shares. Since we have one share, we would get 1 lakh divided by 10,000, which is 10 rupees as returns. And these returns are called dividends. Sometimes this dividend is given as a percentage. So the company says they will declare 10% of dividend. But 10% of face value or 10% of market value? Well, companies play smart here. Since face value is generally lower than the market value, they declare it on the face value. So it is always percentage into face value. Now, 10% is the rate, face value is 100 rupees. So the dividend amount comes out to be 10 rupees. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, Download Byju's, the all-new and personalized learning app.